now we are going to talk about account determination there are three or four different kinds of account determination but the ones that are important for us as SD consultants are number one revenue account determination and number two recon account determination recon stands for reconciliation do you happen to remember where we have seen recon account when we create the customer master we put a recon account in the accounting view of the customer account determination falls under the SDFI integration area credit management is another area that falls under SDFI integration both these areas are typically configured by both SD and FI consultants together but most of us are not from a finance background so before we jump into the configuration behind account determination let's understand the basics of accounting we will understand some basics like what is a credit what is a debit what is a recon account this is not really necessary for an SD consultant but I believe these basics are really necessary to do a good handshake with your FI consultant this is a cross-functional area right so if you understand the basics of accounting it will help you explain what you need from the FI consultant so before we understand any of these terms we have to first understand dual entry accounting this is the standard accounting practice for all big companies so what do we need to know about dual entry accounting for every transaction that affects accounts there will be a credit and a debit a set of credits and debits in fact and the amount of credit and the total amount of debit will be equal credit is posted as negative and debit is posted as positive let's post a simple transaction say a PGI PGI involves two accounts cost of goods sold or COGS account that is credited and the inventory is debited mm, is this correct I'm not sure I think COGS account is debited and inventory is is credited in fact I don't even know which one is a credit and which one is a debit but that does not matter really SAP automatically takes care of it the only point that we have to understand here is every transaction involves an equal amount of credits and debits how about posting an invoice we know it affects accounting right say this invoice consists of line item 10 M01 a price of hundred dollars and then our regular simple pricing stuff say a discount of ten dollars that comes to 90 a freight of five dollars 95 tax of 10 percent 9.5 the total comes to around 104.5 simple example of pricing right in this case how are the accounts affected I said equal amounts of credits and equal amounts of debits right 
the revenue that needs to be collected from the customer will go in as a credit. What is the revenue here? This is the revenue, 100. And $10 go here. And then freight is receivable. So $5 go here. Tax is also a receivable. So 9.5 goes here. And then the total of 104.5 that the customer needs to pay goes as a debit. So what is the total credits now? 114.5, 114.5. The total of the debits is also 114.5. You see, this is what I meant by equal amounts of credits and debits. That's the only takeaway from this. The rest of the credits and debits, negative, positive, what goes where, don't worry. For every transaction, there is an equal amount of credits and debits. What are all the areas that accounting is affected in our SD cycle? Let's take the order to cash cycle. We have our quotation, order, delivery and invoicing. In this cycle, let's see where accounting is affected. Is it affected here at the quotation level? No, accounts are not posted to in quotation. Well, in the order, pricing and all that stuff does happen. But are the accounts affected here? No, same as quotation, no difference. Does this affect accounting? Yes. So, when exactly does it get affected? Not during the delivery creation, not during picking, not during packing, but during the PGI. What are the accounts that are affected? Just two accounts. Cost of goods sold, COGS, and inventory accounts. Again, you don't need to know which account is credited, which account is debited. That's not your job. As long as you understand at least the basic accounts that are affected, you are good to go. At the time of invoicing, after we post the invoice to accounts, does accounting get affected? Of course, yes, accounts are affected, right? So what are the accounts? Customer account, revenue account, sales deduction account, tax account, freight account. Again, there will be a bunch of debits and credits. For example, revenue is a credit, sales deduction is a debit. Again, we don't care about debits or credits. SAP will automatically take care of it based on the document type. By the way, why is it based on the document type? Because if we do the same transaction for a credit memo, the same revenue account is debited. You understand why? Because in case of a credit memo, we need to give money back to the customer, right? So automatically, the entries will be reversed. Again, SAP will automatically take care of that for you. You don't have to worry about that. Overall though, just remember the basic accounts at a very high level. Cost of goods sold, inventory during PGI, and a whole bunch of other accounts like revenue, customer recon, tax, freight, etc. during invoicing. So that finishes the accounting basics for us. But what role do we play as an SD consultant? 
the accounting that happens during PGI are we responsible for it as an SD consultant well yes and no yes because we initiate it no because we don't actually map the account how do we initiate it via the movement type remember the schedule line chapter we said the schedule line category will be linked to a movement type and movement type will be associated with a set of accounts schedule line category to movement type movement type to accounts who configures the movement type to the corresponding accounts it's both mm and fi consultants together but not us so it's out of our way so this interface when an invoice posts accounts we are responsible for this when we as the consultants talk about account determination we are talking about this interface here so this is the background of account determination in sd how exactly we do it is what we're going to talk about in the next set of chapters